Hey guys, what's going on? So the big question today is, is there a dark side to Jason Bond's small account journey? He's not allowed to call it a challenge, I don't think, because of uh, probably advertising rules, because it implies something or some ridiculous thing like that. So he's calling it SAGA, or small account journey. And so there's a sale on this that's 70% off, I think until Monday. Now I might be wrong, so don't quote me, but go and check out the link in the description below. It'll take you to the page where you'll see all the different services right here for small account journey is right here so all basically all of the services are on sale but the one that i keep talking about because it's very very high value is small account journey so you just click here and subscribe and you can get 70 percent off it's not 19.99 it is only 599 dollars a year or at least i think it is let's have a look so again the link is in the description below you can see people are starting to buy it. Not a huge amount yet, but I think there's still quite a, quite a while to go on this sale. But I think if you want to do spreads and you want to really grow a small account aggressively with high risk but high, high reward, then this could be, could be the way to do it. It looks like they've extended the sale. I thought this was only going to go until Monday. It still looks like you have time according to this counter and also from the email that I just got from Jason. So it might be a little bit over... Um, you know, pushy here, but I want to make sure you guys don't miss this because for five ninety nine, this is a steal. It really is. You can always do the lifetime for nine eighty nine, or just the annual for five ninety nine. So, you use the coupon code SJ seventy, you get seventy percent off. So let's talk about it a little bit. So there's been some confusion. So I keep showing these plots where, you know, you see the this is one one of the, the challenges, the, the most recent one. And the $2,000 star in profit, taking all these spread trades, or bull puts as they're called, all the way up to 25000 already, which is really cool. So Jason ran some training over the weekend. He just sent me an email about it, even though I'm already in the service. So I thought I'd kind of go through that, show you guys what he's talking about. So yeah, he's saying 70% off the subscriptions. It looks like it's going to be until it starts on July 24th. So I wanted to make sure you guys know that I was saying it was starting on Monday. So July 17th, it's not the case. It's starting July 24th, so it's still a bit away. But I wouldn't wait. I would jump on this. It's a really good deal. Let's have a look and see what he has to say here. One thing he does recommend a bit, and this is what he attributes to success, by the way, is trading in the zone. So Google that book. You can find it on Amazon. It's a really good book. It's called Trading in the Zone. It's what seems to have changed Jason Bond's mindset enough and his trading ability to be successful with these small account journeys which is really interesting and he talks a little bit about that in his chat room quite a bit so certainly worth reading this book if you haven't already trading in the zone what do you need for the small account journey you need a minimum of a two thousand dollar margin account that's so that you can do these spreads he's playing earnings winners so a lot of people will just play these trades and and they don't really have a huge strategy behind them he is looking for earning winners, so things like NVDA, NVDA, META, Meta. has been something he's been trading a lot recently as well. And that's because they have a high probability of working. So he's looking for bullish patterns, so he's, direction, he's playing these directionally. An interesting thing with Jason is he's a directional trader. And sometimes people that are playing these spreads are not super directional, they're kind of neutral, they're like neutral-ish kind of plays. But he is very, very directional. He's had 15 years of trading penny stocks directionally. So it makes for a really good combination when you combine these types of trades with the ability to pick very bullish setups. So here are the four bullish setups he's looking for. The company smashed the predicted move. It's uh, the, the chart skyrocket and it's got momentum. And also they look to enter the short, to enter the short put vertical below the rest phase. So you, let's I'm zoom in here, see these. So typical breakout patterns, sending triangle patterns, this type of thing. He's doing these spreads on. So on number 21 of journey A, so he's calling these different journeys. So he has all these different journeys, right, where he starts with 2000 and he's trying to build them up. And originally it was going to be just like one, and then it turned into like three at a time, and now it's going to be like four at a time or something ridiculous. So he has to letter them, A, B, C. And so he's on, I think the one I showed you was A. So 21 of journey is 60 trades has been on meta or 21 of journey. So 21 of the, the 60 trades. This is what's crazy. If you look at his spreadsheet, 
He's done 60 trades and only lost two of them. <laughs> and out of those 60 trades, 21 of them have been meta. See, meta bull puts. Meta, meta, meta. So yeah, so it's pretty interesting to see what he's doing with that stuff. Try and find my way back to the inbox here. So he's looking at cup and handle patterns here. Let's see. Journey A is at 25,000. It started at 2,000. So that's amazing. Dates April 24th. So this is started on April 24th and it's July 15th at the moment. So 81 days he's done that, which is fantastic. So really good. Here's a track record. He's just reiterating it in the thing. Oh, look, he's highlighted the meta and NVDA. Yeah, just the meta. He's highlighted all the meta trades here. So, for people that don't understand, a short put spread is that's what he's doing here. But people get put off by the fact this is not just buying and selling options, but it, it is just buying and selling options just at the same time. So, very quick overview is to look at this as a vertical put spread. All you're doing is selling to open a contract and buying to open a contract at a different strike price. So you're selling to open a higher strike, you're buying to open a lower strike, and you get net credit, and that's what you basically make per contract. So it's a net credit or premium. And that's what you make. So it's a very simple concept. It's something I put off for years, though, from learning, because it sounded like it was some complex thing, a vertical put spread. It really isn't. It's pretty straightforward. Jason does a good job explaining that in a lot of his videos and things as well. Uh, step five here is talking about sellers having the advantage. Here's the... Here's the um, numbers, basically, 76%, 75%, 77%, all expired worthless over these years. Typically, it depends on what you're doing, what, what delta you're doing on all this type of stuff. He's very aggressive with these options, so this is kind of meaningless, because the high delta stuff he does could well be a lot lower probability than, say, the lower delta stuff that, say, Lance from Theta Traders is doing. So it's a bit misleading with that. But the key parents he's saying on average, that three out of every four options held, held end up worthless. Of puts and calls that expire worthless, the primary trend of the underlying played a role. Okay. And option sellers still come ahead even when the seller is going against the trend. Okay. Put options alone, 82% expired worthless. This is why I do short put spreads. It's a neutral to bullish strategy in which you have three ways to win. But he's also focusing on the fact that he's good at... <laughs> At directional trading so he gets that extra little edge it doesn't you know what I mean it just adds that extra little bit for him obviously time decay if you're not sure what time decay is definitely research time decay because something that's really really important whether you're buying or selling these options is to understand how time affects the the value of the premiums which is really interesting this is interesting so he's also taking into fact the economic calendar knowing when the market will move Helps with the timing. This is something that I feel like Rage and Bull and other gurus were a little bit slow to catch catch up with. Seems like a lot of like discords and things were doing better at anticipating these types of things uh, with this particular market environment. So just kind of going through this thing here. Yeah. So he started another one. So this is what I'm trying to make clear. So this, when I said the dark side, you got to remember that this is high risk, high reward. Even though he's had this phenomenal 60 trade win streak, well, 58 wins and two losses, which is amazing. You got to see the whole the whole picture, right? So you got to have a look and see. This is a copy of the first journey. Let's see where we're at. Journey B live. Okay. So the current two journeys that are live. Is the one I just showed you, the main one. Then there's this one, which is also amazing. It's gone from $2,000 to $6,000 with the same things, with NVDA, Meta, Netflix. This is an amazing return, 205%. Really quick growth, very quick trade. You can see the entries are like June 6th to June 9th, three days. So these are still active trades. You still have to manage these. You still have to like... Watch them, you still have to keep an eye on the app for when he alerts, you still have to go to the sessions where he talks and things like that. All great. However, the dark side is, this is recent results. Now, <clears throat> you know the term, you know, past results <laughs> don't necessarily indicate future results. Well, the, the reverse is true, right? Future present results don't always indicate past results. 
And if you look back in the small account shirt and journey, you can start to see the challenges that didn't work. You can start to see the ones where he took a $2,000 loss right off the bat and then quit. I don't mean to be freaking you out if you already bought this. I'll explain in a minute. You don't want to be one of the people that did this one where they did five or six winning trades. Looks like six winning trades and then lost all in one trade. Like this one. Or on the very first challenge, which is this one. Again, it was like two, four, six, eight, nine, nine trades. He built up to $8,000 from the 2000 and then boom, lost it all. Um, $8,500 in one trade. And so the dark side is not that there's some like shady scam going on here or anything. What I wanted to point out here is that these are high risk, high reward. And it's taken Jason a long time, about a year, I think, and uh, 15 years of trading before that, but about a year of refining this process of these small account journeys. So whilst you may join today, tomorrow, next week, you may join and turn $2,000 into 12000 really quickly with Tesla, Meta, um, or whatnot. You may be one of the people that get in on one of these huge journeys. You have to bear in mind that there's still a risk here that you may also be one of the ones that gets into a challenge that does this, where you get a couple of wins and then you lose it all, like all of it plus more. This is boom or bust trading. It's all or nothing, right? So... This is what I'm saying is, I think this is an amazing strategy. I've been trading it, I'm going to trade it, I love it, I think I'm going to be really careful with it though. But it wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket with it, right? So uh, you might maybe do three or four trades. I mean, by any stretch of the imagination, going from 2000 to $4,000 in four trades in less than two weeks is amazing. But what you want to do, I think, that's what I'm doing, is you want to set yourself up to put that money somewhere else. So pay yourself first. Don't just keep compounding it like Jason does. Jason wants to turn 2000 into 100000 He probably will do it, but he might not. And so depending on your financial situation, your financial goals, what you might want to do is what I'm doing is take the profits. If you go from 2000 to 3000 take that $1,000 and put it somewhere safe. Put it somewhere where the returns are still high, but maybe not quite as high risk, high reward as something like Jason Bond's small account journey. And here's where I suggest that you put it. I suggest that you sign up for this webinar. It's going to be in about a week from now, I think July 24th. Lance from Theta Traders and I are going to do a webinar where we discuss a very similar strategy in some ways, but quite different in other ways, where it's won 95 trades in a row. You can make 30 to 40% a year on your money. But the risk isn't just not there. It's a much, 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 much lower risk profile. And I think this is definitely worth considering is you can make some great money doing something like Jason Bond's small account journeys, but you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and keep compounding. I think Einstein, I think it was Einstein that said compounding is like one of the amazing wonders of the world or some quote like that. And it is until it goes against you, right? So you want to make sure that you're diversifying what you're doing as well. So this will be on the 24th of July. Put in your best email here. I will show you what we're doing, where we've never lost a trade with this. The risk is far smaller than it is with Jason Bond's small account journey. The rewards are not quite as high. They're still high. They're just not quite as high. We have loads of people already doing it. People like Dave saying it's like free money. That's exactly how I feel. It's something that doesn't really take any of your time, so you might as well do it, which is kind of cool. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about small account journey. And make sure you sign up for our Consistent Passive Profits webinar for July 24th. I'll talk to you guys soon.